Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Right, in today's episode, episode number five of What Sold This Week, I've done things a little bit differently this week and I'm, I'm really trying to mix things up a bit, probably more so for these videos to try and show you a few different key areas that you can focus on to make a few extra dollars. I've jumped into the furniture game and I've jumped into the furniture game based on a sale I made a few weeks ago and I hope you were watching. It was the medicine cabinet. I made a good couple of hundred dollars on the one sale item. So this week I've thought, right, let's just focus on furniture and see if we can replicate that sale a few times over. And fortunately, I've been able to do pretty well. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you a couple of those sale items that I've made this week, and I guess a little bit of background about what I, I guess, went through to make the sale, and, uh, and also the purchase initially, because I think that's incredibly important with this game of, of furniture flipping. So it's gonna be a bit of a furniture flipping theme. A um, Couple of other items in there as well. Looking forward to getting this information across to you, because I really think it can help you guys, if you're not doing furniture, to think about furniture, because there's a bit of money to be made there. So let's not waste any further time and let's get straight. And if you haven't done so already, guys, please remember to give this video a like and a subscribe. It is very much appreciated. If you haven't jumped on board already, I'll be doing two videos every single week, uh, including this What Sold segment that I do every single Sunday. So it'd be great to have you along for the ride if you aren't already. And if you are, thank you very much. It's incredibly exciting to have all of you on board. And I'm looking forward to getting more and more videos out to you. So, all right, first uh, first item. First item I'm gonna get into is a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. Really cool pair of shoes. I spied these at an op shop. Um, in As soon as I got in, actually, I saw these uh, straight away and I thought I'd put these straight into the basket. Um, I paid $8 for these shoes. And I guess with any pair of shoes in the op shop, you're generally gonna pay around $10 for a pair of shoes. I thought straight away with a pair of really good quality and they were in good nick, um, Air Force Ones, I'd probably be able to make a few dollars on these. And look, it took a bit longer than I actually thought. I initially listed these at $60 and they ended up selling for $40. Um, it took about two and a half weeks to move these. They did sell on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I think the issue with these Nikes, while they were in great nick, uh, they were a size six youth um, or a size 5.5 UK. Um, so they did sell to, uh, I guess, a younger person. I'm, I'm not exactly sure um, of their age, but um, I knew that that was going to limit me basically with these shoes because it wasn't a, uh, I guess, it wasn't open for too many people. Um, but look, it, it sold for forty dollars. Um, I was able to make a profit of thirty-two dollars. It took a little bit longer than my normal sales cycle, but uh, I knew there was always going to be that buyer coming, and I think that's probably the biggest thing to take away from this sale is that when you've got an item, you know you're going to get that money for eventually. Always best to be patient, hold on, wait it out, eventually it will come. I think it's a much better result than selling it off at a lower price, just to get your money a bit quicker, because you won't be getting as much money if you just remain patient. So, awesome to get the Nikes out the door. I knew they would sell. Nike's always a great item, especially in shoes. Uh, so $32 on that one, a really good start to the week. The next one I have for you is another pair of shoes. So. I've got a pair of Nike, uh, again, Nike Vapormax uh, women's shoes. So these were again in really good condition and they actually, again, took a long time to move. Um, I had these for about three weeks and I bought these initially from a lady around the corner for $40. Now, they actually came in the box as well and the box said they were $270 shoes. So I thought I had a really good result at $40 purchase. I thought maybe $150 because uh, they were in good nick and, and make about $100. That, that wasn't the case. And rather than leaving this item out of this week's What Sold video, which I could have easily done, I really wanted to include this item in there for you to show you that you may leave these items up for a few weeks and the market just might tell you they're not worth what you think they are. So I was always probably every few days lowering the price, lowering the price, actually getting it so close to the cost of, of the initial purchase that I ultimately haven't made a lot of money on these shoes. Um, the ultimate profit at the end of the day was only $15. So they sold for 55. Uh, a lady came and picked them up. She thought, yep, they are in great condition. Um, as I, I, knew, I knew someone would really like these shoes, but ultimately just $15 at the end of the day, it, it wasn't a great result for me. But look, I was happy to pocket the $15. Um, they did sell for 55. 
but I really think they'll just run their course. I, I remain patient, the sale at the higher price just didn't come. Um, so I just wanted to put that one out there to you as well. You don't always make a massive profit on every item, but always take a profit as a great result. No, I didn't lose money, I didn't get my money back, it was a profitable item, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, I, I still think Vapor Maxes are a great shoe. If you see a pair of Nike Vapor Maxes, jump on them. $270, it's a great pair of shoes. Um, see what you get and let me know how much did you sell your Vapor Maxes for. Uh, the next item I've got for you is another pair of Nike shoes. So these were the Zoom Pegasus 33 women's shoes. Uh, these ones were really good because, again, the same op shop that I bought the Air Force Ones, about a week later I came in and I saw the Pegasuses. When I saw a pair of Nike Zooms, I thought they look colourful, bright, in really good condition. Somebody's going to want to get these. Now, I only paid, how much did I pay? I only paid, I only paid $8 for these shoes. So I was able to sell them for $30 and I made a $22 profit. They were only up for about four days on Facebook Marketplace and somebody bought these pretty much straight away. So really good result. Uh, the shoes have been selling well for me. I've been buying a lot of them from the local op shop and making some pretty good money pretty quickly uh, as well. So. Um, yeah, another pair of shoes, out the door, always get the Nikes, um, really good result there. All right, so I guess the biggest part of my week this week, it was the furniture. Um, the, I've got a few items of furniture that I've got for you to have a look at. First item I've got for you is a wooden hall table. So this wooden hall table, I'll put a photo of the actual, just the, the pure image of the table up for you to have a look at. This hall table was $50 listed on Marketplace. A bit of background on this one, it was listed for about 30 minutes at the time that I saw it. What I liked about this piece was the legs. There was a uniqueness and a curve to these legs. Um, obviously a really nice quality timber, um, in really good condition too. He had great photos on his ad and I could clearly see there were no marks or damages. Um, and it was just a really nice piece, a really good size as well. It wasn't too small or too big. And it had that unique factor about it. I'll never buy a pair, a set of furniture that's just plain and it's maybe like an Ikea item that's generically made. I always look for some unique piece that will attract the, somebody else to buy. Um, so the, the legging, I guess, or the legs on this was the big draw card as well as the quality finish. So I've bought this one, I've dropped him down from $50 to $40. And he ended up obviously saying, yes, that's fine. The drive was about 25 minutes to go and pick this one up. And like anything on Facebook Marketplace, when you get it at a really good price, you have to go straight away. I cannot recommend it. I cannot stress that more. So you've got to have the time to go, look, I'm just going to go pick it up right now. Um, I did that. And when I got there, to prove the point, he actually said that there was a really quite a lot of people that had been messaging to try and get their hands on it. He even said, he goes, geez, I've really listed this at a low price because I've had so many inquiries on it that uh, I should have listed it at a high price. And I said, well, look, I'm happy to have it for $40. So um, I, I took it, um, I listed it within two days of buying it. Um, because it was only up for 30 minutes, I don't see an issue with relisting it because there was only a small amount of people that would have seen it. So I've listed it straight back up. And look, within the space of about three or four days, I've been able to sell this for $160. So I turned $40 into $160 within the space of three days, and I've made $120 profit. So I was really excited about this because this was the first piece of furniture I bought, and I thought that if this is the first one I've bought and I've turned it around so quickly, let's just go and buy more furniture and see, how, see if we can do the same again. So. Um, $120 for this piece, it's just a hall table. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a good size, a, a normal size, I guess. Um, I've just looked for the unique factor in it and somebody else has seen that and, and thought that it was worth the 160 that I had it listed for. So $120, I was really, really happy to get that sale price. Okay, so the next item of furniture that I found was, it was a three drawer, three piece cabinet. Now, as you can see in the photos here, I've, I've labeled this in the ad as a chic Hampton style three drawer cabinet. I've bought this one for $60. So it cost me $60 from a lady locally on Marketplace. 
just like the hall table, it was only listed for 45 minutes when I spied the ad and I said to her that I would just simply buy it for the $60. I didn't negotiate because I could tell straight away that this was worth a whole lot more than $60. It was in really good condition. It had a really unique pattern to the design of the furniture. It wasn't just a generic piece. It had that white um, finish, that, that Hampton style finish. Now I think Hamptons pretty much anywhere, certainly where I am on the Gold Coast, the Hamptons look is always a, a real draw card. It generates a lot of interest. It's an in piece of furniture at the moment. So if you can find any Hampton style, and Hampton style is just that white beachy type look. Um, and if it's got a unique pattern to it, uh, that's the one that you wanna be looking for. And if you can get it at a really low price, you're gonna always make some money on it. So when I saw this at $60, it was a cabinet. It wasn't so much a bedside table. It was more just a, I guess, a universal piece of furniture that could be used in many ways. Um, I went around and picked it up. The exact same scenario like the guy I spoke about with the hall table in the last item, she said that she was inundated with inquiries. And that's a really good sign because you're the one to get in first and you know that there's so many inquiries out there. If you bump up the price, it will generally sell um, to somebody else if there was that much interest initially. Um, so I was, I was wrapped, wrapped to get this item. I thought, look, what, what should I list it at? And there's probably a few of you out there that are thinking, well, okay, great. I can see that it is probably a, a good buy at $60, but how do you list your items? How do you know what price to list it at? I don't. I really just look at it and think, look, it's a quality piece. There's uniqueness to it. The right buyer will pay the, the price that you set it at. Um, remain patient, float the market at a slightly higher price than what you deem it to potentially sell for, and just see how you go. Um, now, what I'm finding with items of furniture, you can really list between, I'm talking generically, between one to $200. I think you could sell an item around the $150 mark, depending on what it is. Um, so you've always got to have a bit of a, I guess, a knack or, or I guess a bit of time in, in, in looking at these furniture items to get, the, to get a bit of an idea of what things sell for. But this one, I thought, look, let's, let's list it at the higher end. I'm going to list it at $195. Bought it for 60, let's list it for 195, we'll see how we go. This one stayed up for one day. I, I listed it and within 24 hours, it sold. The lady that was I was talking to that wanted to buy this one, she wanted it delivered. And that would be a really good tip that I'd have for you as well to make a few extra dollars. Always say in your ad, if you've got the capability to deliver, deliver to the buyer and then obviously charge a, a cost for delivery. She wanted to lower the price from 195 and she said, look, would you do $180? And I said, I'm thinking, yes, look, $180 is fine. I asked her, I said, would you like me to deliver it? And she said, look, yeah, delivery would be great. How much would you charge? Now I do a flat rate delivery of $20. It's $20 in my pocket. And if it's locally to a local address, I'm fine with that. If it's only gonna be a one hour turnaround for $20, I'll take it. So I said to her, if you want it for 180, I can deliver it for you for $200. She said, $200 for delivery, that would be perfect. So I sold it for $200 and it was only up for one day after purchasing. So $200 sale, $60 purchase, I've made $140 on a three drawer unique sheep, chic Hampton style cabinet. Um, so that gave me a bit of a gauge around the three drawer cabinet, the Hampton style look. I've just sold an item for $200. So maybe I can start to sell items around that ballpark figure. Maybe the 150 is a bit low for some of these items. Maybe I can play two to 250. So I'm really just experimenting here on a daily basis and, and just floating it and trying it at a high price and just gauging what the interest levels are. So $140 on that item, I was, I was really happy with that one. And the last piece of furniture I have for you is probably my most favorite piece. As soon as I spied this, I thought, wow, this is such a unique piece of furniture. It ticks my box from, a, a, I guess, a uniqueness perspective. If I'm always looking for something that's a bit different, I thought this item was really, really different. It was kind of like the, uh, again, why I really liked it, it was kind of like the medicine cabinet that I bought a few weeks back. It was a nine drawer setup. It had a, a really cool color pattern to it across the, uh, across the chest of drawers. Um, it, it was not massive, but it was really good quality timber. And she had it listed at $80 on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I knew that because I'd sold tables and I'd sold cabinets for between $150 to $200, that $80 was probably within my striking range to buy. But I said to her, would you take $50? 
And she said, yeah, I'll take $50. Now to me, upon purchase, I thought I could sell this for the $200 that I sold the three drawer Hamptons cabinet for. So I've gone around and I've picked it up. I had to drive out for probably a one hour drive, but I knew that I'd be making good money on this item, so I was happy to do the trip. So I drove out an hour, I picked it up, I drove it back, it took two hours, but when I saw it and when I put it in the car, I knew I was gonna make some money. Now, I've ended up selling this item for $250. So I bought it for 50 and I've sold it for $250. The uniqueness to it, the cool style, the pattern, the really good quality timber, I just knew that it was gonna sell well. So I listed this one at $220, and again, I paid postage to a lady a little bit further away than I'd normally travel, and I put an extra $30 as a delivery charge if she wanted to take it. She said, yes, that'd be great, and I pretty much went straight away and dropped it off to her. So I've turned a $50 into a $220 sale, I added 30 for delivery, my total sale was $250 and $200 profit. So my three pieces of furniture this week, I've been able to sell one for $200, I've sold another one for $140, and I've sold another one for $120. So it's been a really good week. It's proven that if you can find the right piece of furniture at the right price, there are big profits that can be made. Now, I'm sure you've got a lot of questions around the furniture and I probably haven't given you all the details, so feel free to comment below any furniture type flipping questions you have. I'm so far, I'm a three from three strike rate. I've done really well with my picking and I've been able to sell it in really quick time on Facebook Marketplace to people that are interested. So questions below, please feel free to shoot through. I'm happy to answer anything that you've got regarding furniture flipping. It's something that I'm gonna pay a bit more attention to and do a bit more of. Um, I think there's a really great way to make more money by just going ahead and, and looking at furniture items rather than clothing, for instance, that's a smaller, a smaller profit per item sale. So yeah, a really good week. I'm happy with that. Um, let's see if we can do it for the next few weeks. All right, so my weekly sales results. Um, I'm really happy with these. I've sold seven items this week, including those three pieces of furniture, the three pairs of Nike shoes, and then there was another item that I haven't spoken about today, which was just a snapback cap um, that I've had here at the house uh, for a really long time. Um, it's just a surf brand snapback that I sold for $10. Um, so I'll add those figures into this equation as well, but I'll put up the numbers for you to have a bit of a look at here. So my cost of goods for this week, I spent $206 sourcing seven items to sell. Um, those total sales have equated to $745. So my profit this week is $539. So, you know, for doing this part-time, $539 in the hand, I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, I think if I went into this full time, I'd try and look to double that and make about 1,000 to 1,100. I think doing furniture, you know, you probably only need five to 10 items a week, flipping at $100 plus to be able to get there. Uh, my margin for the week was 72% profit. So I always like to do, uh, if you've listened to my past videos, the 50-50 strategy of, um, I guess, 50% profit. Uh, this week is, uh, has been 72%, so well over what I'd like to be doing. Um, from a, a profit margin perspective. So I would class that as a brilliant week. Um, and hopefully I can continue that week on week, uh, but hopefully the furniture game will allow me to do so because so far it's been a really good entry into that market. Um, guys, again, question as well. Uh, it'd be great to hear how your week has gone. I'd love to know what your sales are looking like. Um, have you done furniture flipping yourself? And, and if you have, what pieces of furniture and what styles of furniture are working really well for you? Uh, there's certainly a lot of money to be made. And if you aren't doing it yet, please have a go this week. Go out and buy an item and, and buy a piece of furniture. Try and keep it under the $80 mark and see if you can flip it into $150 or $160 and, and tick that 50-50 strategy I, I speak about. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to just give this one a tick before you go and, and give it a like. Uh, a subscribe as well would be really, really appreciated if you haven't been tuning in. Uh, it'd be great to have you on board for the journey. Um, I'll see you midweek for another informational video. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye for now.